So this is a little bit of a disaster kind of thing. As you can see the water is flooded way above the siphon area and it's you know floating on top. And that is because that lemongrass once this lemongrass is planted right next to the uh, you know the uh, bell siphon area and there is I think a fair amount of root flogging happening. So it's time for me to remove this guy out and uh, also what I've noticed is that you know in this uh, 100 liter grow beds which is small in size which is like one feet by you know, three feet by one feet there is a lot more maintenance required uh, in terms of checking if this bell siphon is working regularly on a you know on a almost on a daily basis or uh, even if it's on a weekly basis you do need to keep you know putting your hand inside and just checking if there's no root clogging and stuff like that but whereas in the system of this size uh, you know there shouldn't be any of these issues because i have uh, done at least about uh, five or six systems uh, in this size and they seem to be working really well in fact the system that i have downstairs i'll just show you from here if you can get a view of that actually look at those systems now those were about three feet by four feet and uh, i really didn't have to touch the bell siphon at all and it, in fact it's been uh, close to two years and i've nev never taken the bell siphon out except for showing people when they come to see my garden so so what i've learned is that you know a smaller size grow bed uh, you know tend to require more maintenance if you plant plants that are going to be really big so probably these smaller grow beds will you know handle only things like lettuce and leafy vegetables smaller size leafy vegetables and the bigger ones like these they should be able to take on the uh, you know bigger plants like a cabbage cauliflower and lemongrass etc so that was one learning that I have from this small grow bed. This I've been having this system here for close to uh, one and a half years here now, up, uh, and uh, I had to at least on every three weeks uh, one of the grow beds would have some issue with water flow in terms of the siphon draining out, and I had to kind of clean it out a little bit, and the system is back. But on the other systems, the bigger grow beds, I didn't have to do any kind of you know, maintenance into the siphon. And they're all the same siphon, all the siphons are built at the same time. So what I'm going to be doing is pretty soon I'm going to be you know, shifting this system, the, all these four grow beds on top into a bigger grow beds. I'll probably have two big grow beds instead of four small ones and use these smaller crates for wicking beds so that's my experience with uh, you know one feet by one feet by three feet grow beds so thanks for watching guys i'll keep you guys posted on more such uh, learnings